mejorar cada día nosotros mismos con la ayuda de Dios. Y es la forma en que queremos demostrar qué podemos hacer por ellos, cómo ellos mismos pueden hacer por ellos mismos. Hablar sobre la curación. Estamos hablando de, en primer lugar, una comunión con Dios. Porque si nos sentimos saludables en nuestra mente, en nuestro cuerpo, también estamos ayudando a curar nuestro cuerpo. Al término Budo, según la tradición japonesa, se refiere, tiene dos caracteres fundamentales. Uno se refiere al sendero filosófico, un sendero filosófico que eh, transitamos más con la cabeza que con los pies. Y le prestamos mucha atención al componente mental y al componente espiritual. Y el otro carácter hace referencia a cómo eh, trabajamos arduamente para detener la violencia. Yo amo yo mucho la palabra Kung Fu. Uh, yo prefiero decirle Gongli Fu. Gongli Fu significa unión indestructible o poderosa entre el hombre, el cielo y la tierra. Que la esencia y el objetivo del arte no es nada más que un método de cultivación físico, mental y espiritual basado en la defensa personal. Quiero llamarlo como un arte de defensa más que un arte marcial, por su origen, esencia y propósito. No solamente aprender a defendernos frente a un, un ataque físico, sino más bien el ataque más importante es nuestro propio enemigo, que somos nosotros mismos, nuestra mente. Encuentramos maneras de preservar que destruir. Estudia la naturaleza, estudia tu interior. Podemos, junto con estos métodos, hacer un, un impacto muy bueno en, en la sociedad, en todos los seres humanos. Algo importantísimo, importantísimo en el mundo actualmente y más en este país. I'm going to tell you something. When anybody that comes to my school and say he's special or he is different, I will never look at anybody different. Every single person that comes to the school is the same. It's the same. How? That depends on the teacher and the master. How are you going to find out how can you introduce him? The martial arts. I say nobody's special, right? Nobody's different. That when you start something, you have to stay on it. You have to stay on it. Because if you like one week, two weeks, a month, oh, it's not working. Stay on it, and you're gonna start seeing the difference. Yeah, and there's two parts. There's this tremendous pressure mm -hmm. against the people who need help, and there's a lot of burden and pressure on the people who are taking care of them, and even the caregivers on ways to keep themselves healthy and strong. And you can literally make yourself feel different based on how you breathe. So you can make yourself get really pumped up, like I want to go to the gym and I want to do something athletic. Or you can make yourself feel extremely calm and very relaxed and very connected to your spirit and your heart. What's the point? There are many, many different breathing techniques. It has helped people with depression. It has helped people with anxiety. It has helped soldiers with PTSD. You, within your own being, your own body, have the ability, ability to improve your health. Breath work is a tool. In the beginning, God breathed into the first man and created for You have your life, you can control your direction and your mental state. Well, I'm gonna talk a lot with the young people. Whatever you get into, it can be long days, it can and will get hard, but you don't quit. For the martial artists, if you injure or you hurt part of your body, train the other part and make it strong until you build up the injured part. There may be a case you can never use an arm or a leg again. I pray that never happens. But if it does, you still don't quit. You use what you have. Mentally, a lot of crazy things is going on in the world. You cannot feed yourself on bad and hateful news. 
you have to learn how to love people. I had a lot of excuses, good reasons not to come. But then I have to put in my head, I can make it. My God will provide for me. My God will protect me. And love say, help the brother. What I want you to really learn from me, you don't quit. Those small excuses start to add up. And if you're not careful, especially you young people, if you're not careful, you're going to look at, oh, oh my God, oh my God. The brotherhood. When you can love people and that people love you back, you feel good. Because that's where peace rests. Learn to love and learn to forgive. <laughs> like months ago, <laughs> it was devastating. It was devastating. But now I'm so happy because he's a, a living miracle. Con respecto a las enfermedades que padezco, eh, Tengo muchas y todo eso eh, bajó mi sistema inmunológico muchísimo. Pero gracias a, el, a los médicos y, principal, y principalmente al entrenamiento de las artes marciales, pude sobrepasar las otras cosas que fueron apareciendo. Y entonces haciendo las tres, entrenando, haciendo fisioterapia, consejería. Ya, y esas tres cosas en realidad me ayudaron demasiado al punto de que hoy estoy aquí con ustedes. Estamos en un lugar eh, que por años, por malas interpretaciones, ha sido eh, como el, el anteponente de la salud marcial. Hoy me siento muy honrado, sorprendido y, y contento de que en un lugar como este, en una iglesia, permitan el concepto verdadero de lo que es el verdadero arte marcial, que es eh, protegernos, proteger a la familia y proteger a nuestro, a nuestro país.